The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Avard, your host. And today I have a guest who's been on before, Mr. Tom Mander. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Well, it's great to be here uh, again. You were, the last time you were on the show, we were talking about your tour in, in uh, Europe. Yeah. So basically, your, your bike tour with you and your daughter. Yeah. And uh, you were toying with the idea of fitness. Uh, at, you know, when you got back home, maybe starting something fitness, you know, with fitness. And sure enough, you're a man of your word. You, you started something. Yeah, I didn't really know that it would uh, come to that fruitation, uh, that I would actually start a fitness business, but here I am. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, being able to ride a bicycle across uh, Europe, across the Alps and the Apennine Mountains at my age uh, inspired me to want to bring that level of fitness to more people. And for 87, you look great, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. 60. I'm 66. I'm That's okay. Uh, the best plan, the best health care plan is to take care of yourself. That's your motto. Yeah. Yeah. And well, you know, I'm lucky enough to have a state senator here, and congratulations yeah, thank you on, on that. But when you, when you think about it, uh, I think one concern has to be the, the aging baby boom population, then what if um, 10 years down the road or a little bit more or about then, uh, the baby boomers aren't taking care of themselves like um, I'm trying to get them to, to do and you're sitting there in the legislature and uh, something comes up and they say, well, the baby boomers aren't uh, taking care of themselves. We right. need money, more money for health care. <laughs> and this is right. one of the ways yeah. to curb that, curb that, uh, that cross. No, yeah, my, my father-in-law is 72 years old. Uh, my mother-in-law is about 70. She does Pilates. She could do, she, I, I, they, they, they work out all the time. He does five miles every day. Five yeah, there miles. you go. There you go. And, and, he, and he has a bum foot or bum hip or something. And, and he's still, you, it's a lifestyle. And they look great. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and, and in fact, uh, Part of, uh, I've been reading this book, Younger Next Year. It's written by a, a, a doctor, uh, Henry S. Lodge, with a, a partner, Chris Crowley. And uh, they, they say in the book, uh, it's not motivation, it's routine that keeps people going. Mm -hmm. It's hard to stay motivated because, you know, it's hard to convince myself sometimes to work out. But if I get it in that, into that routine, uh, like brushing my teeth, mm -hmm. um, you know, what's the hardest thing in the world to break? A uh, habit. A habit. Yeah. So if you create good habits. Yeah. There was a book we, we read in school years ago, uh, The World's Greatest Salesman. I read that. Yeah. You develop a good yeah. habit, and every, in every scroll there's a new habit. Yeah. And the same way it could be done with health. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I want to do. I want to move people along. Part of my business will be to, is to partner with people. Mm -hmm. Make them part of the, the planning. Make them part of, of coming. It's not going to be me sitting down and saying, hey, Kevin, you're going to do uh, 20 curls and you, or you're going to do 30 uh, chest presses and you're going to run two miles. It's going to be, hey, Kevin, um, this is where you are right now. What are some of the things you think uh, we ought to have you been doing in mm -hmm. order to, uh, to get yourself more fit? What do you feel comfortable with? Then let's try that. Right. And then we'll sit down again and, and we'll say, well, how's that going? Where do we need to tweak it? Right. You know. Yeah. You know, I was just reading your brochure, and, and you know, there, there are gyms out there that say that there are no judgment zones and stuff like that. Yeah. However, they do got a blue light. And if you, uh, 
you know, make too many grunts, that blue light goes off. And I go to that, Jim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've actually watched that blue light go the, off. There, where's the no judgment here? Quiet yeah. on, you know? Yeah. Uh, but, but in reality, that is an issue with a lot of people, that they don't want to get in front of somebody. They're, they're self-conscious. Uh, and yet, you know, that's just one more excuse why they, they don't go to the gym or they don't uh, properly take care of themselves, but they're looking for the direction. Yeah. Uh, in a cost-effective way. And I can't get into the, the, the prices with you or anything like that. But No, but uh, that's what I want to do. I want to make it cost-effective. Right. If, I, if, I, if, if they want to partner with somebody and do some group work in mm -hmm. order to keep the cost down. Mm -hmm. uh, my other thing is, is trying to educate people so they need me less and less so that they can do their own planning and they're, they're, they learn enough from me that maybe, you know, at first they see me uh, three times a week or two times a week and then uh, two times a second week or whatever. Then well, I get them into a routine and they, they go on their own for a bit and they, maybe they skip a week and they call me up and they say, hey, Tom, I need tweaked a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we get back together again. Right. And, um, Pretty much a one-on-one, uh, -on -one or one-on-one, um, -on -one or one-on-two, or, uh, one -on -two or, mm -hmm. or maybe three. Maybe maybe somebody wants to to work out with their neighbors, or or like that. That's a good opportunity to uh, keep help keep the course down, and and also make it a social thing where Joe is uh, calling up Harry and say, "Hey, it's time to." Time to work out. Time for our workout. We're helping each other be accountable. You know? to, you know. Yeah, that 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 helps there too. And 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 the other thing is, you mentioned people that that don't feel ready for the gym. I'm I'm not going to turn down people. I'm not turning down people that that uh, uh, want to work out in the gym or or whatever they want to do. But there's a lot of people out there that don't feel ready for the gym. That I can go to their house and I can get them started and up off the couch in order to get started on, on becoming more fit. Maybe then down the road somewhere, they, they wind up at the gym or, or whatever. They feel more comfortable going to the gym. Uh, but, but at first, we can, we can do it at home. And uh, I have, uh, I, th I think I paid less than $100 for it uh, on the Target website, a uh, little elliptical machine that you can, uh, it's not, it's not w one that's comparable to one that costs hundreds of dollars, right. but it works enough for you to uh, get on there and warm up and maybe get a bit of an uh, aerobic exercise. It, it fits into a rather small space. And then I have these uh, bands that I might be able to demonstrate to you later where um, you can get these at, um, at Walmart for less than $20 and, um, you can do your curls with them and stuff, and, uh, and this will this will anchor into a, a door, hmm. and then you can um, do your exercises uh, there with that. You can do chest presses and pecs and now talk a little bit about your background. You have a you have a, a bachelor's in in uh, recreation therapy. Yeah, from Penn State. Yeah, yeah, and I went to get my master's there. I worked as an activity therapist. Uh, for uh, quite a while on, on a, a, a couple of different psych, psychologic, psychiatric units. Mm -hmm. I worked at Lowell General for 10 years, and uh, I worked at Brookside for a while. I worked uh, uh, down in, uh, in Pennsylvania. So there, there could be some uh, people that. that are really struggling. They haven't gotten back into fitness because, you know, the rotary cuff or the hip or, or some type of surgery or, or uh, you just can't get back into it. You can, you can coax them into it. You have that type of a background. Yeah. Yeah, I have a counseling background, too. I worked uh, for 10 years as a counselor for the emotionally handicapped kids uh, uh, in, a master's in, in, in Merrimack. I have a master's in, in education, and I have a certification in, in school counseling. Yeah. Uh, so, so you're not just a nobody. I'm, I'm used to, uh, not only do I have the, the, the fitness training certification, I have a counseling background, which I think really fits in with what I'm doing because... Right. I'm helping people make changes in their lives. Right. Before it was one type of change or another, this is a change from be, uh, getting into a fitness routine where people will come up with, with uh, emotional issues about it. Like, right. Hey, let's face it, being fit isn't just physical activity. There's an emotional and mental part to it, a big right. emotional and, and, and mental part to it. So You know, my, my cure for that is I, I go to the gym with my wife in the morning. We're, we're there around 4.30, and... And she's at 6.1 on the tread. Yeah. And I'm at 3.1. And, and she'll look over, and then she'll look down at my belly. It's all the motivation I need. And I'll have to press it up. A, well, I'll go 3.2. I don't know if I'll quite, like, uh, do that. She's, be able I'm accountable to, be to her. The, yeah. yeah. So, no, yeah. I'm going to go do weights now. Right. 
But uh, she, you know, she's uh, uh, middle-aged, just like I am, and she's, uh, no, she, she cranks it out. She does five miles, and, uh, she just, and then she does the hot yoga. She mixes it up, but uh, it's a lifestyle with us. We, we can't go a couple of days without having to work out. I mean, you can't prove it by me, it's because I got a problem with the cookies, but you know, yeah. I like the cookies. But um, other than that, you well, know. Well, they bring out in this book the importance of moving and what it, 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 it does for us because he gets into this. I have to give, uh, you know how they give a disclaimer, a warning at the beginning of some shows? Uh, this book will scare the heck out of you. If you're not into exercising and you read this, <laughs> it might scare you into your, doing your it. Your body's designed to move. It is. Because when you look at the history of man, we've been on this planet, I don't know, millions and billions of years. But up until about 100 years ago, it was the typical person hunted or gathered or farmed. And so there was movement, not only when, they, when you were 20, 30 years old or whatever, there was movement all, all through your life. Then about 100 years ago, the Industrial Revolution took place. And people started to have jobs where they became sedentary. Right. And the, our bodies haven't really changed that much. So what happens, and they bring it out in this book, is up until age 40 or right below it, you're growing. Uh, you, you have the tide behind you, as they say. <laughs> when you start approaching 40, you're starting to go against the tide. Yeah. And, and what your body's saying when you don't move is it goes into fathom, famine mode because you're, you're, and they explain it in here, there's, your body doesn't think there's any other reason not to move than there's no food to go hunt or gather. And so it starts storing and it starts decaying. Mm -hmm. And uh, people, people say, uh, um, well, exercise is, is painful and, and lifting weights is, is, is painful. Well, if you go on the, and Google open heart surgery. That's painful. That's painful. Yeah. And, and exercise helps prevent heart disease. Right. It helps prevent arthritis. It helps prevent cancer. In your, <laughs> in your brochure, it says physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body. It is the basis of a dynamic and a creative and intellectual life or activity. John F. Kennedy. Yeah. Yeah. From his bully pul pulpit. Right. He, yeah. He uh, he actually was into it. You know that. He did. Yeah. That's. Uh, he and Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Were two examples of of two great presidents who were in the fitness. Remember, Teddy Roosevelt was a sickly young boy and uh, wound up to be uh, quite an athlete right on through college and and into his presidency. So a tell rough me, rider. Tell me a little bit about when 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 somebody comes to you and says, you know what, yeah, Tom, I, I'd like to get. Uh, I'll take you up on it. You know, I can develop a program for me. Uh, what do they got to do? They, get, they call you up. They, they go to your website. They, you come visit them. What's your, what's your initial intake? How does that work out? Well, my, my, uh, my procedure is to meet them where they are. Mm -hmm. Instead of, uh, of them coming to me, I, I go where they are, and I uh, bring whatever I need to do. And there's, there's four facets to, to my program. There's nutrition. There's flexibility. There's strength training and there's cardio, mm. and so I sit down uh, at the first session with with the person, and I do an assessment of, of where they are uh, in each of those areas, mm -hmm. uh, what what their diets like, um, do some assessments of, of uh, cardio aerobic uh, capability, some strength and and uh, flexibility tests, and then uh, from that um, I have a, a scale that I bring with me. And it'll uh, give their percentage of body fat and their weight. And then we uh, do some measurements, uh, waist uh, measurement, which is very important. Um, and um, from there, we, I design a program, sit down with them and design a program of what they sh uh, exercises they should do aerobically, uh, flexibility, do, do stretches, um, come up with a nutritional plan, how much, uh, what, how many calories they should be eating, uh, what part of that should be protein, what part of that should be uh, carbs, what part of that should be fats, uh, and then come up with a, a, a complete program of um, the aerobic, the diet, the um, cardio, um, the mm -hmm. strength, and the, the flexibility. 
Uh, generally, you know, are, are you targeting people my age? <laughs> I, I'm talk, uh, I, I don't want to um, say that I won't work with people that are, are young and looking to get on the cover of fitness magazines, but there's a lot of places for, for people to, to go for that. I'm looking at, at people uh, baby boom age, uh, you know, or 40 or, or so. Mm -hmm. I think that's really my target audience, and I think a lot of people... Uh, baby boomer age or around that would rather work with a, a person, a trainer around their age than some buff young person that right. doesn't really know the the challenges or the aches and pains. Yeah, you like know? when you first wake up and there's that backache. Oh yeah. my gosh. You know, you or I'm uh, amazingly sore the next couple of days or, <laughs> or whatever. And a, like a young, I'm not going to, you know, a younger trainer might be I've, I've told a bunch of people this, and they, I've had so many people say, yeah, I had a young trainer, and he almost killed me, because uh, so, uh, they didn't get what I was saying. Yeah, we don't recover saying. as quickly as and, they, they and do. And they'll, they'll try to push you. Yeah. You know, oh, you're hurting a little bit. There's no gain, no pain, no uh, whatever, and they'll just, like, uh, say, well, go ahead. Yeah. And, then, and people told me, well, I wound up getting hurt, you know? Yeah, exactly. And uh, you look at them and say, Really? You know, I used to be able to, you know, press 300 pounds. Now, you know, I'm, I'm lucky if I can do 100, you know, a number of times because the shoulders don't work as well as they used to. But you don't want it to atrophy. You want it to, to you know, you, right. just, you want to maintain. So, so part of my thing is, like, I may need to, to slow people down. Hey, the, the, the important thing is that you're working out and going in the right direction, and it's not the, the destination or where you're trying, where you're getting, it's making the trip. Yeah. It, it's the movement and, and feeling better all the time. Maybe feeling better by feeling a little worse once in a while because yeah. it's not easy. I'm not going to say it, it's, I've been, I've been uh, in the fitness for a long time and, and I still have my aches and pain, pains from it. Yeah. Um, well, taking that, 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 that tour, I mean, you must have been sore as all could be. Oh, yeah. I suffered greatly during the first <laughs> several weeks of it. Yeah, you, you, know? you endured weather. You endured a lot of different things. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you know what? They, they, they just have been finding out that bicycling is one of the, the best things that you can do in order to, to be fit. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, used my, I put my heart monitor on and, and, and checked it out. And you want to uh, exercise... Um, when you're at 65% of your maximum, and there's a way of figuring that out uh, by your age, uh, you are burning you are burning fat efficiently. And then when you go to 85 or 90 so percent of your maximum, then you are are uh, burning glycogen uh, instead of fat, and you're building up your aerobic ability. So I found that when I'm riding on the flat and um, I'm going along and, and just riding, I am at that fat burning uh, rate without even have, having known it. Enjoying and then it. when I climb hills or I, or I sprint or I go hard, I go up into that, that burst of uh, 85 to 90 percent. So when you see somebody out there cycling, they're getting uh, a, uh, a, a very proper aerobic workout. Yeah, it's good for balance, from what I understand. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. mental alertness, everything. It, it, it's all good. The other thing, when you mention balance, Kevin, when you talk about the benefits of, of movement and staying fit and staying strong and getting stronger, is when you think about the weather that we deal with, with here now, uh, I was looking out my window, and there was a kid walking to school, and it was icy this morning, and he went down. And you know what he did? He got up and brushed himself off and kept going. But if you're, you're an older person, yeah. one thing being fit does is it helps you to, to take trauma. Yeah. You know? Right. And you're much like you're in the first place. You're stronger and more balanced, so less likely to fall in the first place. And then if you do fall, you're, you're much less likely to, to get hurt really right. bad. I mean, there's just so many reasons to stay fit. So where do you, uh, where do you uh, base your, uh, this out of? Is it, is it Nashua? Is it, uh, yeah, where, where's the area that you cover? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I look to work within like 15 or so miles mm -hmm. of, of Greeley Park, which is close to where I live. Right. Uh, so I 
don't uh, want to spend my time driving all over the place looking for people to, to train. But are, are you Nashua, Merrimack, uh, maybe in the Bedford a little bit, right. Amherst, Hollis. Do you have a bike club that uh, you recommend, or are you, are you still doing bikes? Are you doing tours? Are you encouraging that? Is it part of your program? Well, I belong to Grant, Granite State Wheelman, yeah. and uh, they do uh, rides during the, the riding season. Yeah. So that's a good thing to get involved with. I saw a bike out the other day. But, uh, that's a little crazy, but there was a kid on a bike. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, the snow, I, there's ice, and thinking, eh. there was a couple of winters ago that I saw a lot more people riding, mm -hmm. and I couldn't believe it than than uh, than this winter. Yeah. Maybe it's because the gas prices were higher back yeah, then. I well, saw more com people uh, commuting a, a couple of winters ago. But so these aren't just a fad. These these rubber bands. These really do have a certain degree of resistance as well. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. And In fact. This summer, just to try it out, I stopped going to the gym and I said, hey, I'm going to try these elastics and, and see. They come in, in four or five different um, thicknesses and right. resistance. So you can, uh, and, and if you need to tweak it a little bit, you can pair them up and, and use two. Uh, to, to get yourself the right resistance. Did and, you, are and, they as and, effective and they as free weights? Me, they're, they're not as effective as, as free weights. Mm -hmm. Free weights have so many advantages to them because when, when you're doing free weights, when, and it's, when you think of yourself laying on uh, back on a bench and you're doing your pecs, you're not only do, strengthening these muscles that are, are causing yourself to, to bring the weights together, but you're also holding them in that plane. So it, 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 it strengthens stabilizers. the stabilizers, right. too, where a cable or a, an elastic doesn't do that. Uh, the other thing about the free weight is if I have uh, 25 pounds on, on each hand uh, doing that pec exercise, that weight weighs 25 pounds the whole way through. The, the, the resistance on the elastic changes, but... These are very convenient. Uh, they're very mobile. Right. Um, the, and they don't take up a lot of room. They fit nicely under the bed. Yeah. And <laughs> and you, you know what? You bought. You, you, they fit. They fit. Not <laughs> Everything all, fits not, under the bed. Not right? just under the bed, but in your suitcase. <laughs> right. Uh, let's say you've been you've been uh, you've been working out. You've been going to the gym, and you're going to go on vacation, and you don't want to to miss your workout. You throw these in your bag. It seems like every one of those uh, those fit commercials, you know, you see, well, and it fits nicely under your bed, or, you know, they get those uh, all kinds of workout machines. And that's where a trainer stays in because a lot of those things go under the bed and, and they just <laughs> they just stay there, yeah. you know. Yeah. And 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 you know what? I see the glut of of fitness videos on TV that they're selling and in magazines and whatever, and those things are great. Those things are work. They, those those things uh, do work. But which ones do you use? That's why that's why you need a trainer right. for somebody to help you decide how to do that and stick with it and and how to use those. Do most people have successful workouts in their own home? They can, yeah. If they want, if they stay motivated, there's no there's no reason why somebody can't get and and stay in in fairly good shape in their own home. Uh, and it doesn't take a lot of money and it doesn't take a lot of space mm -hmm. because. These don't take a lot of space. You can anchor um, this to a, a doorway and uh, do your pec exercises. Um, and, um, curls, back you, exercises. The, 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 yeah, curls, rows, um, 45 degrees, uh, triceps with mm -hmm. it hanging be, behind you. Um, or if you have a, a couple of uh, dumbbells and, and a fit ball. You can do a lot of exercises there. Do you, you can follow do... people to the gym too, or do you like some some gyms? Uh, I'm allowed to to train people there. A mm -hmm. lot of gyms, um, I'm not allowed. Right, so, they, they want an exclusive. Because they have their own uh, sure. trainers there. Right, and um, some gyms give uh, free training with their packages or or whatever. And I'm not knocking the trainers there, but there's a pretty big turnover there. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't like schedule an appointment like with me anytime you want. They won't come to your house. Have you uh, have you talked to retirement centers or anything like that? Have you gone into places like that? Uh, I'm looking at uh, a couple of 55 uh, housing uh, mm -hmm. places right. to uh, do some workshops. Right. Um, I'm going to some wellness centers and chiropractors. 
I've hooked up with a, a chiropractor in, in Merrimack. I'm going to do a workshop in early March there. Uh, they're going to highly recommend to certain. Right. They told me to highly recommend to certain of their patients that they should come and learn strength strength training. Well, vegan therapist has got to work. Uh, it, it, that's got to come into place at some point because everybody gets hurt at some point. And uh, whether you're you know if you play golf and you know you want to improve your swing or you want to. Uh, you want to heal a certain way. I mean, you must know some of those exercises to, to heal those muscles. Um, I would encourage people to, to work with their physical therapist. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't really rehab people. Okay. Uh, if somebody has an injury, I can, can work around it. Um, but when it comes down to uh, any type of rehab for, for an injury, I'm not really qualified to do that. Okay. There's a course that I can take. I'm certified through the International Society of uh, Sports Sciences Association, and they have a course that I can take uh, to get more into rehab, but I haven't done that yet. Right. So uh, I you can't really get people go there in the yet. habit and help them develop their habits. And, yeah. Uh, uh, you can take some of your, your lifelong experiences and bring that to the table. Yeah. Yeah. I could even, uh, you know, if people, um, when it warms up, want to take bike rides. Right. I mean, do that. Or, there's plenty of places uh, to ride around here, that's for sure. I, I, I love riding here. I do a lot of my riding in Merrimack and, and Amherst. Uh, I live near um, Greeley Park, like I said, so I go out Tinker. Right. And then it, it opens up opportunities out there in uh, Merrimack and, um, and Amherst up through there. Yeah. Uh, bike riding is a great thing. I, my, my greatest adventure, and I, I keep telling my wife this, uh, my friend Norman Breer and I, we were about 11 years old. We went from uh, Bloomingdale Drive to, to uh, New Boston, nonstop, and I conquered Mount Vernon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and that stopping, is a climb. That, that was, is quite a climb. It was quite a climb, but what an adventure. The whole thing was just an absolute adventure. And, and bike riding does that. Being out there, uh, especially places where you haven't been before, uh, Mount Vernon, climbing that hill, one pedal at a time. I, boom. I've boom, written up that boom. one. That's when, that, that one is a tough one. Yeah. But we were 11 years old, and we did it on our 10 speeds. But what a great, now, even as a kid, as an adult, it would, I wouldn't recommend going to do that your first time, but being out on a bike, what a wonderful way of getting out there and, and seeing things. Well, to motivate people, just think about that. Just have people out there think about some of the enjoyment they got when they were a kid yep. doing fun physical activities. And why the heck did you stop? Exactly. Why did you stop? Everybody had a bike. Right on fitness is for you. And there you are standing right next to the bicycle. Uh, again, thank you very much for coming on the show. And I really appreciate it. And uh, I would encourage uh, you folks, if, if, you're, if you're looking for a way to get fit, don't know how, got some reservations, uh, Tom is, is the, the person maybe you can help you out and, and develop some uh, a schedule for you to, to help you develop the habit so that you can start doing it on your own. Thank so. you for watching Gate City Chronicles, and we want to thank our sponsor, Aardvark, the Dean of Clean. You can reach them at 603-521-7657. If you need your carpets clean, call Aardvarks. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.